In this video, we are going to discuss the theorem 19.15. So the statement is let R be a ring with unity 1. And if n into 1 is not equal to 0, then we have to prove that the characteristic of the ring is equal to 0. The proof will go as such now. So we know that if uh, A is any element in the ring, then we can certainly write n into a can be written as n into a into 1 which is also the same as n into 1 into a and now we will see this as n into 1 into a where a is any element in the ring so this is this is true for all elements a in the ring so in general, this A need not be zero. This A can be anything. It need not be zero. And this N into one is given to us that N into one is not equal to zero. It is not equal to zero. So this product N into one into A, this product also need not be zero if a is not equal to zero if a is not zero then we can say that this term is not zero n into one is also not zero and in this case this product n into one into a is never zero this implies if a is not equal to zero then n into a which is n into 1 into a is never 0. That is n into a is not equal to 0 for all a in the ring except 0. So this means that by the definition, the characteristic of the ring is defined to be how much for such things we define the characteristic equal to zero so we have proved the first part of this theorem now for the second part we have if n into one is equal to zero for some n then the smallest such n will become the characteristic of the ring so suppose there exists an n such that n into 1 is equal to 0 then we can again see that if I calculate n into a this n into a means a, in a plus a plus a n times which is equal to a into 1 plus a into 1 n times which is equal to a into 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times and that is equal to a into n into 1 but we are given that n into 1 is how much n into 1 is 0 this is a into 0 and therefore we get that a into 0 is 0. So we have got that n into a is equal to 0 for such n. So for this n, n into a is how much? Is equal to 0. So I will choose a smallest such n. There may be many n. So you may have that 7 into a is equal to 0. You may have 14 into a is equal to 0 and so on. You may have many n's out of such n's smallest such n will be taken smallest such n be chosen and then by definition that n becomes the characteristic of the ring
So we have proved that if you can find some n for which n into 1 is equal to 0, then for that n, n into a is also equal to 0. And one such smallest n will therefore by definition become the characteristic of the ring. So this completes the proof of this theorem.